Jamie Cox. Officer Cox has only been with the Rockford Police Department since December of last year after joining the force from the Illinois Department of Natural Resources. This is video from December 2016 of Officer Cox being sworn into the Rockford Police Department. We learned just moments ago that Cox was a Hananiga High School graduate. He was also a graduate from Northern Illinois. He is sitting down there on the right of your screen in the middle wearing that dark suit. He received an honorable discharge from the U.S. Army in the National Guard in 2010 and then worked for the Illinois Department of Natural Resources Law Enforcement Division. Again, Officer Jamie Cox was on the force here in Rockford less than a year before he was killed. 13 News anchor Sean Mozzarello has been on the scene all morning for us to bring you live updates online and on Facebook, and he joins us now from District 3 headquarters with more. Sean? Good, uh, good morning, Kristen. There are a lot of memorials already starting to pop up out here at the District 3 headquarters. First off, I've already seen two people come bring food to the police officers who are here, who've been up since 1 o'clock this morning when this uh, when this incident happened. But if you take a look behind me right now, caught a poignant moment uh, just about 30 minutes ago. Some city staffers came out here in front of District 3, and I heard some, some noise, and I came outside, and I found... The three flags outside of District 3 headquarters at half mass. That's the city flag, state flag, and American flag right there. This is what you're going to see all across the city this morning in honor of Officer Jamie Cox. So what happened? It was around 1 o'clock this morning. We do know that he pulled over a car. It was on State Street and Dawn Avenue. That's right across from McDonald's, a stone's throw from the Goodwill. So some point during that traffic stop, we're told he radios for help. And this is the scene footage from this morning. You saw something happen because there's evidence markers out there now where his car was because he pulled over a car and something happened. And that car was found two blocks north of, the, north of where the initial traffic stop was. And there was Officer Cox. When the officers got there, they found him critically injured and they found someone dead inside the car. They're not saying who that person was and they're not saying how Officer Cox was critically injured. They are saying that he was taken to the hospital where we learned just after five o'clock this morning he passed away. That's when the funeral procession started. There were hundreds of Rockford police officers who escorted Officer Cox's body from the OSF emergency room all the way downtown to the coroner's office where the cause of death will be determined. But this has affected the entire police community. There were Rockford Park District, Rockford Police Department, Winnebago County Sheriff's Office. I'm told that anybody who was on duty came and they escorted his body there. Uh, what we're waiting to hear back from Rockford Police now is what happened during that call. They initially said on Twitter right after this happened that there was a shooting involving an officer. So I asked them just moments ago, uh, is that still the case? They said, that's what we knew at the time. We have no confirmation yet. So they're not backing away from that. They're just saying they can't confirm what was initially reported. So there are a lot of unanswered questions about what happened to Officer Cox, who that person is inside, and why this traffic stop turned deadly. Two people now dead. Uh, Want to leave you with this 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 view because this is what you're going to see. A lot of sad faces uh, around here. There's already grief counselors here talking to the Rockford police officers outside of uh, District Three headquarters because this has infected uh, the entire community. Kristen, a lot of people reaching out uh, be on behalf of Officer Cox and a lot of people praying for his family this morning. Kristen. All right, Shauna, we'll check back with you in about 30 minutes for another update. And it is.